Well, the film project that's created by our partners is called Apollo 11. It's a feature-length documentary of the entirety of the mission and it showcases large format film holdings from the National Archives that were digitized as part of this project. These particular holdings, they've been in cold storage at National Archives for many years, so they're very well preserved and they've been physically tracked for a long time, but they were under-described and in some cases suffered from a lack of proper identification. When I was noticing some of the first markings on the cans, that's what really got the research going. That's what really made us want to investigate this further. There was actually uh, several different specialized formats of large film that was used for the project. The group of Apollo negatives, those are 65 millimeter in dimension, and it's a widescreen aspect ratio. It's a widescreen format that was popularized in Hollywood in the 1950s. It's called the Todd AO process. The other formats were specialized 70 millimeter engineering films and those have a much different shape to the actual image frames. The format itself presents many challenges and barriers to access, and attempting to do any kind of meaningful reformatting of those holdings in the past has really been cost prohibitive for National Archives to undertake these kinds of efforts. So it has been a great digitization partnership for the National Archives. What our partners are helping us do is ensure that meaningful reformatting does take place and this material will be ultimately preserved for the long term. There was recently an IMAX theatrical release and the quality of the imagery and what it contained was just so striking. There's a real sense of immediacy, there's a real sense of being present and I'd never seen images in this quality and in this presentation before related to the Apollo program. We are not finished with a lot of the preservation tasks that have to occur and the digital archiving but we ultimately intend to make the collection widely accessible to the public. I'm just excited and proud of the staff at the National Archives and I'm excited that we are making an awesome contribution to the historical record. That's one small step for man, one giant leap.